Just a reminder, you can watch full episodes on my app or join me at JoyceMeyer.org. I'll see you soon. It's amazing the things that people find wrong with you when you're succeeding. I said, it's amazing the things that people find wrong with you when you're succeeding. I mean, I know people, young, young men that are coming up in ministry and young women and God's blessing their ministries and they're doing so good. And, you know, some of the folks that have been around for a while, they just got to find something wrong with them. Got to find something wrong. And it's nothing but jealousy. And it's one of the worst things that we can do. I'm going to make a statement, and I want you to remember this. Until you can be happy for somebody who got what you wanted, <laughs> you're never going to get yours. That's your Mother's Day gift. <laughs> Let me say it again. Until you can be happy for somebody who got what you wanted, you're never going to get yours. Amen? Amen? I tell this story often, but I'll never forget back, and I'll call them my stupid days. You know, I was a believer, but didn't have a whole lot of sense yet, didn't even know how to pray for the things I really needed. I just prayed for stuff that I wanted. And back then, a lot of ladies wore fur coats, and it was almost kind of like a status symbol if you had a fur coat. And um, so I was believing God for a fur coat. <laughs> and I mean, I, had, I wanted a full-length black mink coat. And I was praying and asking God to give me this coat. And I had a neighbor that I loved with the love of the Lord, but I didn't like her much. <laughs> Come on, do any of you have any people like that in your life? You, you, you love them with the love of the Lord in church on Sunday when your pastor makes you. I love you with the love of the Lord. Still trying to figure out what that is, but... One day my doorbell rang and she said, you are not going to believe what God gave me. And she's holding this giant box and she flipped the lid off and it was my fur coat. <laughs> and I swear, I honestly thought the angel brought it to the wrong house. I thought there is no way that God gave her that coat. Because I am a lot more spiritual than she is. I pray, I fast, and she just runs around, has fun, and gives $2 a week, and there is no way. Well, You see, I needed a circumcision. <laughs> and by the way, the Bible still talks about circumcision in the New Testament. It's just a circumcision of the heart. And I had a wrong heart attitude. My attitude needed to be changed. First of all, I wasn't even for prayer. I mean, I had so many desperate needs just in my attitude alone. The last thing I needed to be praying for was a fur coat. And so what did God do? He gave it to somebody that he knew it was going to irritate me if he gave it to her. And, but I, I did the Christian thing. Oh, praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. That's so good. And inside, I'm thinking, God, if you don't get her out of my house, I am going to have a screaming fit right now. Well, she left, and I tell you what, the stuff that came out of me was ugly. Anybody know what I'm talking about? <laughs> and God did that to bring out of me things that were in me 
that were really preventing me from being blessed, but I didn't even know they were in there. And you know, sometimes we can have stuff in our life and stuff in our attitude that we don't even really know is there until something happens that forces us to have to take a look at ourselves. You know, most of the time we think that any problem we have is somebody else's fault. But you know what? I think about 90% of our problems are just a bad attitude. And I was jealous of her, just plain and simple, jealous, and I was judgmental toward her because I felt like I was more spiritual than she was, and that was really my big problem. I thought I was better than she was. I don't suppose any of you have a problem like that. <laughs> what about when you've written a book and your book sells four copies? Pastor Mike, Mike and Penny, who travel with us, he, he wrote a book a couple of years ago and he offered it on Amazon and he told me a few months ago, he said, I got my royalty check and it was what, how much? $6.79. $6.79. And then you have... Robert Morris sitting a few seats down here. <laughs> and I tell you what, Pastor Mike is one of the most faithful men I have ever seen in my life. I mean, he is just wonderful. He's our staff pastor, and he, he knows everybody in the building by name. He knows their kids' names. I mean, he visits everybody in the hospital. He is just a wonderful, wonderful blessing. And you would think in the natural, if anybody would be blessed, you know, through the writing of that book, it would be him. But no, that's not what God chose for him. Robert got the rainbow. But you know what? They even still like each other. <laughs> and that's the good news. What about your friend gets the promotion at work that you wanted? One position open. <clears throat> Two people want the same position. You can't both get it. Both are praying. We have to leave it up to God. You know, when Judas messed up and they needed a, to elect a new 12th apostle, there were two men that were being considered, Matthias and Barnabas. And Barnabas didn't get picked. Matthias did. And it's interesting, you never hear another thing about that man in the Bible. Not one other thing. But Barnabas got passed over, and you know what he did? He went home, he went to his hometown, he sold every single thing that he had, and he brought all the money back, and he laid it at the apostles' feet, including Matthias, to be used in the kingdom of God. Now that's a man with character that God's going to use. Want to hear more from Joyce on this topic? We've got you covered. Visit us in the Joyce Meyer app or at joycemeyer.org today.